It's been a season of record attendances in the Rabo Direct Pro 12 and the sold out signs were up at Ravenhill as top of the table Ulster played host to Cardiff Blues. Mark Anscombe's Ulster went into the game on a run of three straight wins knowing that a fourth would guarantee them top spot and a home semi-final. Blues travelled to Belfast hoping to avoid a fourth defeat in a row on the road although they had already recorded wins away to Connacht and Munster this season. And it was Phil Davies' side who made the better start. Inside the first five minutes, scrum half Lewis Jones set Daffod Hewitt away. The centre ran under the posts for his third try of the season. This was a well-worked effort, and when Reese Patchell converted, Blues were 7-0 ahead. It didn't take Ulster long to get back into the game. Blues winger Harry Robinson failed to hold a straightforward pass and Ruin Pienaar accepted the present. The South African jogging towards the line for the home side's first score of the night. Robinson's mistake was catastrophic and Pienaar didn't need to be asked twice. The number 10 completed the job with a conversion to level the scores. Patchell and Pienaar then swapped penalties to leave it 10 points apiece. Patchell has been selected for the Wales Under-20 World Championship squad and he showed why he's considered such a good prospect in Wales with a fine drop goal past the half-hour mark to put the Blues 13-10 ahead at the half-time break. Ulster came out in the second half and looked like a different team. They immediately had the Blues defence on the back foot and within three minutes of the restart, Andrew Trimble barged his way over the line. The Irish international doing very well to get the score under severe pressure from the Blues tacklers. Proof that he possesses strength as well as speed. Pinar converted and then landed two more penalties. And suddenly the home side led 23-13. Then it was that man Trimble again in the 54th minute. The Blues defence failing to deal with the high ball, Keystone's cops defending and the winger was able to collect and go over for his second try of the night and Ulster's third to make the win virtually certain. The TMO was called into action to confirm that Trimble had in fact got the touchdown, a marginal call but it went in Ulster's favour. When the reliable Pienaar converted it was 30 points to 13. And the bonus point victory was secured just before the end. Robbie Dyack making his 100th appearance for Ulster, getting over from close range as the Blues challenge fizzled out. Pienaar converted once again, and Ulster had wrapped up the win with a strong second half showing. They'll be home to Scarlets in the semi-finals, and will go into that one with plenty of confidence, having suffered defeat only once in their Pro 12 season at Raven Hill. Blues will be looking for an improvement on their ninth place finish next season. Final score at Ravenhill, Ulster 37, Blues 13.